Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, and a tour, if you like, of my cave, work area, bench, whatever you want to call it. So um, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to go behind the camera and show you where I sit, where I work. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, folks, so this is the view of the cave, if you like, from the uh, from the door. Uh, so we'll go left first. So essentially what we have here um, is the overflow of the stash, uh, which is very tornado heavy. So you can see down there, two Breval, 32nd, uh, the Italieri 48th. Italieri 32nd, Revel 48. So yeah, it's quite tornado heavy, that side of things. Uh, but yeah, essentially, we've got these two uh, Billy bookcases from Ikea. On the top there is my uh, travel case for my Warhammer 40k armies. Um, some plants from Ikea, a couple of busts I've done, various projects that I've finished, all the Warhammer 40k armies. Uh, that's the Plastic Bastard. That is the Revolver 48 Tornado. That is in progress. Uh, various boxes and stuff. Um, Apple products. And then we have there, we have the recently finished Super Pershing, the Railgun. Uh, we have the Warhammer 40k box sets, all the rule books, etc. Dice and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then as we come across, so this is essentially where I take my photographs. So we've got a bit of a an area there that's just clear, lots of cables and stuff for charging, power bank, all that sort of stuff. Cleaning materials, including my air freshener. <laughs> and then this is where I actually take the photographs themselves. So you can see just this white background. Um, but if we kind of go across here, you can see I've got various bits of bolster wood and stuff. And also in there is the same stuff for this, but black. Um, so I can have a black background. We've got two LED lamps on a tripod and then just the standard spotlight from Ikea. Uh, moving up from there, we've got my Warhammer 40K Imperial Aquila, which is from Brushworks Knots um, on Instagram. That's metal along with a purity seal. Uh, and then just a few pictures and that sort of stuff. Uh, moving down to this side, we have my Proxon Hot Wire Cutter. Uh, invaluable machine if you want to um, use foam and that sort of stuff and then various bits of diorama basin materials really um, including mixed herbs oregano all that good stuff then obviously it's all covered here um, but essentially if I kneel down to this bit and lift this up so under here we've got various storage boxes it's all diorama type stuff um, airbrush filters, all that sort of stuff under there. That's the remainder of the stash, very small stash. Uh, so we've got some nice, nice stuff in there. And then moving up into this bookcase, we've got finished models. Uh, a lot of the finished stuff has been boxed up and moved away. Um, that one there is just a, a tripod that I haven't moved. Um, and move it up, a couple of dioramas and that sort of stuff. And then again here, we've got the... Uh, more sort of display space that one uh i've recently moved you can see the mark on it and then the bane blade obviously coming into uh or coming towards the finish line now uh, just working on the base of that and then underneath we've got storage there uh there's a sort of empty gap um and then that's the window into the back garden now it's snowing today at some point we may see the dog running around like a lunatic. He's probably sat by the back door waiting to get in while I film this. But essentially, that's the window to the back garden. So the extractor goes out of the window. That's my bench vent um, and my kind of spraying area with all various pallets and that sort of stuff. This is just polystyrene covered in foil. And the reason I do that is I can stick stuff into it um, while I'm sort of holding it. So that's why I do that. And then we've got the uh, the LED light above it. And then moving around, various bits of artwork, water pistol that I converted on there to make it look like an M4. Uh, various wet palettes, tools, airbrush stuff, iPad, phone, blah, blah, blah. My desktop PC, which I use obviously all the time. Uh, you can see the webcam facing me. And then we've got the webcam facing the bench. 
moving around sprue holder or the sprue holder sprue holder uh, made for me by mr mark andrews which is fantastic and then my bench cam is there and that's my what's on the bench currently which is the age of sigma uh, ready for finishing off ready to be contributed to the warhammer group build then if i just come out a little bit we've got various mugs and stuff there some world war ii propaganda stuff sons of anarchy artwork well, that was from telford last year so that's all signed by everyone that was there uh, with the guys from the triple p as well a couple of paint sets there and then my paint rack itself so as you can see i'm not one brand um, i've got lots and lots of citadels lots of model color lots of xf some lp and uh, we've got some army painter stuff there vms varnishes uh, various clay washes both ultimate and flory ultimate decal solutions mig pigments ultimate pigments so i'm not i'm not one brand if it's a good product then uh, then i'll use it and then we're moving around to this corner here which is essentially all my various sort of tools paint brushes glues things that i use all the time and readily sort of accessible cotton buds, cocktail sticks, sanders, all that sort of stuff. That's my printer there, that's a scanner as well, useful for decals, and then we go into these drawers. So the top two drawers, essentially, if I've got projects that I'm working on, this is where they live, uh, in these drawers. Um, so I'm working on a fair few things always. Um, and it keeps them safe, stops them getting damaged, stops them getting broken, just put some polystyrene in the bottom just to protect them. That's the machine in Krieger, obviously. Uh, and the the crocodile, Churchill crocodile, is, is in the back there with the figures, etc. Take those off the base, wasn't happy. And then we come down, so I'm trying to think of weight, so the heaviest stuff on the bottom, really. So everyone's got a drawer like this. This is essentially just a junk drawer. So it's got various pens, a torch, scissors, sellotape, uh, paper clips, loads of stuff in there. In that box there, the Green Stuff World box, all my Green Stuff World rollers, Green Stuff itself, uh, various memory cards and all that sort of stuff. Circle templates there. And then this bottom drawer, uh, we've got all my spare sanders, cotton buds, all my various putties and fillers. Uh, we've got my micro mesh, we've got spare masking tape, spare glues, super glues and all that stuff. Moving around underneath the bench, let's move that chair out of the way, not a light chair these, we'll talk about that in a minute. So there is just my bin, kitchen roll. I put this cheap nasty rug down just to protect the carpet and as you can see it was worth doing the various things that we uh, end up spilling on the floor. That is tripod for holding my phone, uh, duplicate or spare paints in there, majority of model color with some MIG stuff. And then the shelving unit there. So I've got some weathering stuff on there, all my plugs uh, in this box here, all my clamps, etc. Um, and in this box here is just various lids and all that sort of stuff. Great to put figures on. Um, while you're painting them and uh, then my my compressor's there and then on this side we have all my various primers rattle cans all that sort of stuff obviously the airline runs straight up uh, to where the airbrush would sit when i'm spraying um, so that's the underneath a couple of clipboards there for holding instructions and that sort of stuff so yeah pretty straightforward really and then as we come round, excuse me getting old so the models for heroes poster my calendar from the tank museum so i know what's going on a bit of black rifle model works merch he's there and then that is my real life toolbox boilers in there i don't go in there to be honest i don't know what it does apart from make stuff hot so leave it well alone and then last but not least is my actual chair this is where i sit my throne and this is the secret lab titan 2022 i believe um and yeah they're not cheap but they're absolutely worth it um yeah you can sit on there all day long no no problem at all um yeah and that's it as i say just the cheap rug there protects the carpet and um, while i'm rolling back and forth on my chair and all that stuff and spilling stuff so i'm painting whatever and it just protects it. i think that was a fiver that rug 
so when it wears out we'll just get a new one dead simple um so that's the space now those of you that know me will say well, where's your gaming table so what happens is when i'm not playing so this area here um if i'm sort of photographing and stuff and i'm building that's what i use it for what will happen is if i'm going to play a game of warhammer or whatever then essentially this space here will allow me to have an eight by four foot gaming table which is in the garage um so essentially it's, i take that photo area down move all that stuff it sits on there and then it comes out all the way across um to essentially the edge of the rug a bit further and that enables me to have an eight by four foot gaming table um it used to be set up all the time but since the dog has arrived and i wanted space for him to move around in here while i'm in here that's why i've taken it down it, i put it up as and when so that's what that is talking of which there's his bed he lies on there quite often um, and just kind of sits there chills out uh yeah and that's it so that's my hallway the hoover um yeah and that's that's my workspace um so yeah i hope you like it um i know i'm very lucky to have it um but i like it and i spend a lot of time in here so uh yeah that's it right then see you later So there you go, folks. That's where I sit. That's where I'm sat right now talking to you. Um, I appreciate that I am very, very lucky um, to have this amount of space, this amount of stuff. I know that. Um, but I work hard. I don't go out to the pub. I gave up smoking two years ago. You know, it, it is what it is. This is where I spend my, my spare cash and I spend a lot of time in here and get a lot of enjoyment from it. Um, but I, like lots of other people, I started basically on a tray in front of the telly. You know, it doesn't matter as long as you're building stuff. You don't need all this stuff, um, but it's just a nice to have. Um, so that's it. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if if. You know, you like it or you don't like it and you would change something. Let me know because it's always good to have a fresh set of eyes um, on anything we're doing. So let me know. Um, and that's it, really. Uh, check out all the links in the description. Until next time, guys, stay safe. Happy hobbying. Bye bye.